podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Boxingboys.com. What broke him down? Was it the body punching? I was getting the body punching. I heard him actually he was crying in there. You were saying that Big was crying when you hit him? Yes. When, when did that happen? And perhaps the fourth round on. Boxingboys.com. So you knew you had him by that Absolutely. time. Absolutely. I knew he was cussing and taking those punches. Deep and Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. If you're just tuning in with us, you already notice the change in energy. They did it to us again. Top rank came for us. They got tired of that Crawford hate, and they shut the main channel down. But we're actively working to get that uh, infringement lifted. We have the name of the person. And we have his face. We're looking. We're looking for him. Hopefully things get resolved today. But until then, we're right here at the backup channel at Nestor Gibbs. That's YouTube.com forward slash Nestor Gibbs. Some big, big news to be discussing this morning or late last night, should I say, that a couple of people, um, you know, we were. Uh, so I don't even think I can mute this. Now we gotta wait for Mike to pick up. Believe this. There he goes. So anyway, I, yesterday afternoon, um, this guy had a little bit crazy. Gerald Big Baby Miller uh, has seemed to have popped. For an adverse finding, um, I did some research on GW fifteen sixteen. Uh, I'll be honest, bro. First of all, I don't even get why anyone would take this stuff. Um, if I read correctly, it's been off the market since two thousand and seven. There was never any human testing. It was only tested on lab rats. Obviously, it gives you everything you want, but there is uh, some very spooky. Um, negative side effects. Uh, the main one being that the lab rats showed cancerous signs, meaning that this particular drug was giving the lab rats, um, not giving them cancer, but definitely um, making them more prone to cancer. Um, but it's, it's, it's kind of what he popped for in the past. Um, it's a fat burner. It's an endurance builder. Um, you see a lot of these out there. There's a bunch of over-the-counter antibiotic steroids, even though this isn't an antibiotic steroid. But that's basically what 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 these guys are finding. You know, whatever GNC, non-GNC product that isn't on the banned substance list, um, it isn't a big deal, right? Uh, in the sense that it isn't. Um, I don't know, a steroid. It's it's essentially a diuretic, but it does help um, with stamina, endurance, muscle building, fat burning. So it is cheating. At the end of the day, it is cheating. Um, but like I said, I don't want anyone to think that this is a, a full-blown steroid. This is still one of those... Uh, pill form over the counter or should i say black market really because again they pulled this because of the cancerous side effects so um i'm looking at it like this big baby's a guy that for a long time has um frequented the muscle building community if you follow him on instagram you will will see 
big baby, you know, taking pictures with muscle, with like Mr. Olympian looking like dudes, right? Not someone that looks like him. Someone that looks like him times 10, lean, shredded, and bulky as fuck, right? So, because I'm talking to my girl last night, I'm like, yo, how do you take something that was only tested on rats that everything you Google, I mean, there's YouTube dudes talking about this shit. Uh, th there's blogs talking about it. It's been discontinued for so long. It's only available on the black market. Like, how do you take something that the side effect is that serious? And all I can think is, um, all right, so like for me, right? Let's put the scenario for me. Uh, I know Mike. So Mike says to me, yo, Ness, this is what I'm using. I've been using this for about a year, X amount of time, whatever the case may be. I trust Mike. I trust Mike. So it's like, yeah, you getting gains, B? And this ain't boxing. We're talking hypothetical, outside of the ring, just gym shit. And it's like, damn, Mike, you getting gains? Yeah, bro, that shit work. Bet. Where could I buy it? Here's where you can buy it. Now, the question, the next step is, how many of us are going to grab that label and Google it and find out what it is we're about to put into our body? And then when we decide that answer, remember that none of these fighters are Harvard graduates. You know, um, they look to boxing to get out of their issues in life. So I'm not expecting Big Baby to be a scholar. I'm not expecting Big Baby to Google every supplement that he's taking. Um, but it is still his fault. It is still his responsibility to know what he's putting in his system, to know whether it's on the banned substance list. And again, this one is very difficult to deny when not only it is on the dark web, but it's also discontinued so it's like why are you even taking something that's discontinued but it looks like my co-hosts have joined me i'll go out to a con in the uk you know the number to call in and give us your take on this subject that's one four two five five six nine fifty two forty one good morning gentlemen what it do mike where's your camera player mike always with the bs man lay every day fake woman up tea come on Talk to me, Akan. How's it going? Yo, good morning, everyone in the U.S. Good afternoon to everyone in the U.K. Yeah, Big Baby Miller, this is disappointing news. This is very disappointing news, especially because, not just because of the build-up, but more so because a lot of people and a lot of the Americans, I believe, were starting to kind of root for Big Baby Miller. They were kind of saying, well, if he can take a punch, Mike said it himself, if he can actually take a punch, AJ's punch, this fight suddenly becomes interesting. Um... The build-up was, was a great build-up. It did a lot already. But for him to say Anthony Joshua has, um, what did he say, steroids, um, not steroids, he has testosterone exemptions and other things, and for him to then pop with this, this is highly, dis this, is, this is disrespectful to the sport. And I do believe that this fight's not happening. I genuinely believe that this fight won't happen. Um, it's a shame because there's thousands of Brits going out there um and who are they going to see who are they going to replace him with but this is this is a this is a disgrace to the sport essentially and especially if you've already been banned previously i know it was when he was um, i believe he was a kickboxer at the time um but if you've been banned previously and you've got your highest payday coming up you've got um i think it was reported as well in an espn article that um he had if he was to lose to aj he had two bouts two essentially like comeback fights totaling three mil from the zone lined up for him already. So he's essentially lost millions here. This is this is bad news. This is very, very bad news, very bad news because um, it's like you said, millions are being lost. Can he get this opportunity again? And um, I mean, how do you how do you even get past this? Uh, this is it's like you said this is his second time failing for some sort of fat burning muscle building property um 
Yeah, I don't I don't know. Very, very difficult for him to get around that. A con. <laughs> oh my bad. I thought my I thought you went to Mike. I, I don't <laughs> think Mike is here, is he? Do you see? Mike's him? missing. Mike's missing in action. Mike's, Mike, Mike's missing. Okay, yeah, no, I completely I completely agree. Um I he would be looking at a ban. I don't I don't know how long his ban would be. Obviously we haven't had anything confirmed yet, so we do have to say it's sources. Yeah, it seems like they're still trying to salvage it, but I mean I think we should talk about the short list, right? There are names. And, and Eddie is so gifted at what he does, bro. But, like, I mean, who really believes that Luis Ortiz, Adam Kavnaki are the top two names on the short list? Like, why does he consistently do this, Akon? Why does he always talk about his fighters with PBC fighters, yet we're, we haven't seen that done yet? Like, we haven't seen a PBC Eddie Hearn fighter. Maybe Eddie, the zone... Eddie. But not PBC Eddie Hearn. He continues to say, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Kel Brook could fight J uh, Jared Hurd. Meanwhile, no offers are out. You know, oh, yeah, Big Baby, he's out. But, you know, AJ could fight Adam Kovnaki or Luis Ortiz. It's like, who believes this shit? Eddie's very, Eddie's very, very good at controlling the narrative. He's very good at protecting his fighters. He's very good at making them seem... Um, we had a discussion in the production chat yesterday on FaceTime, or I think it was earlier this morning, about how um, he limits access from the media to matchroom fighters. It's, it's hard to gain access. Um, some of you know the UK host, Jack, I think he struggled to gain access to matchroom fighters. Eddie's very good at controlling the narrative and protecting his fighters. He has to put Luis Ortiz and Kovznaki out there. He has to, because... Even if he's not considering them, he has to make it look like he is considering to put AJ in there with them on six weeks' notice. Um, I believe Adam Kuznacki has already come out and said he's not taking the fight because he's got other plans or he's got his own plan and he's got he's not got enough time. Yeah, he, so he, he sure did. Out. He he reported it to the Polish media now, and and that's what I find strange. Why won't you take that fight? Like there was rumors of Kuznacki. Uh, fighting in july now i spoke to him yesterday before this trying to just find out what's up with him um maybe you know i i, I text him hey are you on the wilder on the card because i haven't heard anything and he's not and uh you know he doesn't want to he, he's being real stingy with the information he's not telling me he's headlining but he's definitely saying july august you know and i said so are you headlining it sounds like you're gonna be headlining he's like you know that would be nice so being very coy but nothing big <laughs> You know, sometimes when people got big shit at Khan, they just go ahead and tell you, look, off the record, yo, I'm fighting Wilder. You know what I mean? Not that it would be Wilder, but off the record, I'm fighting so-and-so. He's not saying any of that, and AJ still four belts and a big payday. Is it short notice? Yes, but he's ready. He was just in Poland training. So, I don't know. If there's a real offer, he should jump on it, but I highly doubt it. I just don't believe... Eddie Hearn is sending any offers to PBC fighters. He's just using their names. Like he uses Javanta's name to build Farmer. Kell Brook's name, he, he he mixes it with Jared Hurd. You know, um, and Anthony Joshua, look at what he's doing. You know, Luis Ortiz, Luis Ortiz. Everybody knows Luis Ortiz. When it's time to fight him, he's too old. No one's heard of him. He speaks no English. But every interview Dillian White does with IFL TV... They're talking about Luis Ortiz and how unpopular he is and how how bad of a fight it would be because he doesn't speak English, but you're talking about him. He's so unpopular that you're talking about him. You know, AJ says he was also possibly in the running Luis Ortiz. Let's see if any of that comes from it because I know when he was on, um, what's the show in the morning over here in the U.S.? Uh, he was on Breakfast the Breakfast Club. He was on the Breakfast Club. Um, you know, he said, yeah, I, I, I want to fight Luis Ortiz. He's possibly next. So here's the opportunity. Now, from a promoter standpoint, I know I'm being long-winded, and I'll go to Mike next. From a, from a promoter standpoint, do we really want Luis Ortiz um, on short notice? Do we not want to get prepared for a southpaw eight weeks in advance? Uh, is Gerald Miller a southpaw? No. So is Luis Ortiz really a viable option? No. Konaki already said no. So who's left on that four-man shortlist? 
Michael Michael Hunter. Oh, I a the zone fighter, a the zone fighter cruiserweight moving up. Okay, who else? Um, it's interesting. They didn't actually add Dillian White to that. Dillian White has come out on Talk Sport, and he's actually said, "Well, I want AJ. I'll fight him next." Of course, he wants AJ because he's gonna say, "Pay me what you are about to pay Big Baby Miller. Give me his purse." Yeah, but I he won't be rematch. he won't be able to merit that. Big Baby's getting six point five because he's bringing AJ to America. Dillian got to bring him back to the you know United I Kingdom. Agree. Ain't nobody, you, Mike. Then. You can shake your head all you want. Ain't nobody paying Dillian White six point five million dollars to do a U.S. fight when DAZN already passed on his U.S. rights. Please. But then you have, you have to remember you have to remember though, Nez, he Dillian White isn't coming from a what I bring to the table. Dillian White is coming from a you're desperate now. You need me now. Well, remember, like, you need remember, me. no, he doesn't need him because for casual fans, Manuel Char, who's the WBA regular, is already in talks with Eddie and AJ, and I think he'll get the opportunity. Dude hasn't fought in two years. He's got a fake belt they could bring into the ring, and again, dude hasn't fought in two years. He's not on that level. Vladimir beat him up. Everybody wanted a piece of him. Uh, Big Baby offered him 500000 You hear... Um, Dillian White saying he just want to spank him, take the belt, vacate the fake belt. You know, this man well charred dude, like I told Mike yesterday, he gets a lot of leverage with that toy belt. Oh, I get it. Mike don't want to talk. He want intros all late. Boxingvoice.com a man can stand up for what he believes in, and when you stand up for what you believe in, you accept what other consequences come behind Boxingvoice.com. Yo, 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 what's up, people out there in the TBB universe? Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm late, but shit. Had a long night last night, man. A lot of shit happened. But, uh, yeah, man, this kind of happened too, right? Big baby. Now, look. Before all you people start being like, hey, Mike, you're being too mean, you're being... It's called Anti-Doping Agency, right? So when I say doping, it should be okay. Because they use doping in their title. So look here, man. Big Baby, not the first time. You know what I'm saying? It's actually your second time popping for PEDs. First time was in 2014. And you say it was uh for like a a, a a a pre a pre workout something like that whatever the hell it was we gave you the, the the benefit of the doubt. Now you're telling us that you got popped for for some like when I thought of about it last night I'm like is that like kind of like clambuterol and me and RV had a long long discussion he thought I was being uh, facetious but it turns out that I I'm right it's kind of is like clambuterol it helps you burn um. Uh, 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 muscle. I mean, helps you burn fat and uh, raises your level of uh, endurance. So, if he's doing this normally, I mean, it's it's a bad look, and uh, it's kind of crazy that you would throw a title shot away in six million dollars. I mean, six million dollars to possibly cheat. And I mean, I I. I I can't give you the, the the benefit of the doubt, cause fool me once, shame on you. Fool can't get fooled again. You know what I'm saying? In, in words of, of of George Bush, you know what I'm saying? You can't get fooled again, big baby. Man, I, I was I was one of the guys who was behind you. You know what I'm saying? I was one of the guys that was out here supporting you. Like, hey man, you guys are sleeping on big baby. He's down here working in, in Florida. He's but seeing the pictures. You just look like you just look a completely different guy. I mean, what the fuck is going on? Like, that dude, chest was like, I'll say, damn, he must be doing some some real waste down there, or doing something, or doing yeah. something else. And that's a damn shame. And in, in, in the sport of boxing, uh, when I hear uh, UK people saying all the Americans are on steroids, all the Americans are doing this, I I, I, I cringe, I cringe. But when this happens. I started thinking that more and more of, of these fighters that that aren't being tested regularly are on something. Could be on something. Not not saying they are, but they could be on something. And this right here just just begs, begs, and begs that America come up with a a a, a something like 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 you kid. 
to have everybody in the states who performs on boxing, MMA, basketball, football, whatever baseball, whatever the, the sport is, it needs to be cleaned up and get everything better because cheating in sports is not right and it's not good and it's definitely not a good look. But a con, yes, what's going on, man? I'm sorry, man. I, I was long winded. What's up, man? Who do you think though, Mike, should be a replacement? I know, I know who you're gonna say, but share why you think they should be the replacement. Now, last night, I was uh, telling everybody that even though it's an American pay per view, and even though it's Big Baby in Brooklyn, most of the people that I seen that were that were interested in this fight weren't coming to see Big Baby. I ain't hear a soul say, "Hey, man, I'm going to fight to see Big Baby." A lot of people saying, "Hey, I'm going to see AJ fight." I'm going. I'm going over because AJ coming over. You got ten thousand bricks coming over. You got another three or four thousand bricks in the uh, yeah, in but, uh, New York. But you got on, ten thousand. You, 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 you got you, ten. You no, going? you've been talking. I've been letting you talk. You got know, ten thousand bricks coming, but there's already seventeen thousand tickets sold. They said that's cool. That's cool. And but you got to salvage the 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 uh the event. And only two names, in my opinion, that would salvage that event. One name is Luis Ortiz. Fought in fought in Brooklyn already. And it's familiar with the uh, New York people. If they see you fight Luis Ortiz, maybe that that's acceptable. The other name and the name that, that you should go with is the in-house fight, Dylan White. Bring those Brits over. Put on a fucking spectacular fight with Dylan White because the first fight was exactly that. I mean, well, I won't say spectacular, but it was uh, it was um, suspenseful. If you put on a second fight with Dylan White at the Madison Square Garden, I really think that. That that uh, it will be a a, a a a decent event, and you can salvage it. Yeah, but anybody else? That's why Mike ain't no promoter or matchmaker. Right. He gonna cool. put two Brits in New York City and expect it to be sold out. Yeah. <laughs> if well, ten, all right, yes. Hey, oh, I'm, hey, I'm just I can't laugh at you. <laughs> why are you mad at me? I mean, if ten thousand Brits coming over to watch the fight, and and, and another three thousand are in the. Uh, are in uh, New York, four thousand tickets not a not a stretch for a heavyweight fight, is it? Is, hey, is, is it so how many of those Brits decide? Ah, oh, you know what? I'm not coming to watch Dillian White again. You know, because you got to remember. Man. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. You all of a sudden think this Dillian White AJ is a big fight, but it's such a big fight that it didn't take place. Because it's such AJ, a it's because, such a big fight. Hold on, sir. You had your opportunity. It's such a big fight. The no, day AJ kind of said AJ said, "Yo, my next two fights are in Wembley." They made graphics. They promoted it. Oh, AJ staying home. Meanwhile, he's coming home to the U.S. So that Dillian White fight was there, and no one did anything to salvage it then. You know, they could have given them more money. The, Adam Smith could have done something as the head of, of, of Sky Sports where it was going to be uh, shown, right? It was going to be a pay-per-view on Sky. None of that happened. So I, I just don't see in them doing it last minute now um, for an event that they're not sure is going to recoup everything that they've put into it because it's just a Brit versus a Brit in the U.S. Um, but a New York guy. Maybe Derek Rossi's the guy to fill it up with him. Um, I, I would like to see. I would like to see personally. I would like if the um, Dylan White fight could be made. However, I do understand that that fight might. I don't know how Sky would react to two Brits fighting at, at Madison. Man, Square look here, bro. I said Dylan White. This motherfucker said Derek Rossi, and y'all don't give him no stick. What in the fuck are we talking about, Derrick Rossi, bro? I don't give a fuck if he from goddamn Jamaica Queens in this bitch. He's not fighting AJ on, on, on that card. It's going to have to be somebody Yo, we never those. thought Takam was going to fight AJ. And we kind of, I mean, if it was a week's IBL notice, ranking, remember, and, we go and check it out. We never thought Wilder was going to fight Ariola. It was a week's notice. We never thought Gerald Washington was going to fight Ariola. Ariola yeah. was a week notice? Yeah. Yeah. He's fighting. Uh, remember, Andre's war check is the one tested positive. I thought Andre War's check was the one that tested positive uh, right before the uh the uh uh Joe Washington got signed. Well then the other one where Ariola was could have been um I know two guys uh, popped Could have been white. It could have been white. I mean not white, um Ortiz. But I know 
the areola stepped in late. And I'll Google it. You could go back and forth since you felt I was taking your time early, and I'll just find no, that no, for no, you. No, 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 no. It wasn't even that. It was like uh, you, you posed the question, like two Brits uh, being uh, over in um, Madison Square Garden. I mean, even though it's two Brits, I mean, it's two name heavyweights. And if they if they can possibly do, I mean, it's, it's fucking seven weeks out. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough to get anybody of note in there who's not already had a fight coming up and can possibly finagle their way out of the fight. Um, fuck, man. Hey, I think hey, the, go ahead. I think the Brits have been done hard by though, like with this, like because you have to remember that this wasn't the fight that people wanted. Everyone wanted Wilder. So when we couldn't get Wilder, it was like, okay, well, let's go for this loud mouth New Yorker that is really, really selling the hell out of this fight. He's been calling AJ out for the longest. He's talked about AJ's mother. He's said all sorts. Like, the disrespect level was so high. And then what's happened at the press conference, it's what made people book flights. It's what's made people book hotels. It's what's made people pay for tickets. Thousands of tickets have been sold. So they can't just throw in a Michael Hunter, in my opinion. I don't know if that is good enough for the public that are coming out there. There it goes. Because... Sorry to interrupt like that, Akam, but just wanted to uh, let everybody know. WBC heavyweight champion at the time, Deontay Wilder, was 36-0, 35 KOs. Was to, is, was to defend his title against Chris Ariola on Saturday night uh, in the champ's home state of Alabama. Wilder was supposed to face Alexander Povetkin, but that later failed a pre-fight drug test and had to withdraw. So... That's what it was. But I knew it was two back-to-back me too, me too. Um, I knew it back drug to back. tests, which caused, um, you know, people to, I mean, them them to switch opponents on a week's notice. So that's what I'm saying. If AJ does it with four, six weeks notice, he still got time, champ. It's still April. Let's be real. He got six weeks. He could get ready for Lewis. He could get ready for another top, top heavyweight. Um but at the same time, he could use the the pre -ex the preordained excuse that there was no time and get a lesser heavyweight. Bro, I'm on Big Baby uh, IG. I uh, mean, like one of his pictures, boy. It's, it's a picture from like five five days ago. But they are killing that nigga in, in, in the comments. Did he take down his story where he was all jacked up and it was like 315 big ass chest in a yellow tank top? Uh, nope. You should screenshot that shit. My man looking like... Oh, we already did. We already did, nigga. It's my, man, check. my man looking like Mr. Universe. Yo, the, the, it's like a con says, though, man. That's the worst part right there, bro. Like, you knew the testing for this fight was going to be stricter. And you knew you were saying what you were saying. You was insinuating AJ was on something. Like, how you ain't going to make sure you know what you're taking, bro? You slipping, man. You slipping. But listen, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe right here at the backup channel, youtube.com forward slash Nesta Gibbs. as Terrence Crawford and, and Top Rank done it to us again, man. They don't like the boxing voice. I'm telling you. All we did was review a Terrence Crawford fight off air, and they coming for us, man. They coming for us, and it's going to last a long time. So make sure that you subscribe right here. We've been burnt. Hopefully, we can uh, get it fixed. I know a few people that know the guy that actually flagged us, um, but he doesn't want to give us an audience at all. Hopefully, with the friends that, that Mike knows, that knows him, you know, mutual friends, as they say, um, they will grant us an audience and uh, hear us out at the very least. But till then, don't forget to subscribe right here. YouTube.com forward slash Nestor Gibbs. This is where all the live shows are going to be. If you don't mind not listening live, then there's really no need to subscribe. We will uh, upload this podcast to the YouTube channel and iTunes, iHeart, Spotify, etc. Um, within hours. Many, many hours, though. I'm just going to keep it 100% jeezy with you. About 10 hours it'll take, if not the next day is usually how it goes. The live shows are always hotter and fresh out the oven right here on YouTube. This is where we want you to watch us. Uh, but then the podcast form comes out about 24 hours later. So, that's being said and has been said. Uh, Mike's in training. I'm in training. Akan's still ducking. Never sent that footage. Hasn't confirmed that he's coming to the U.S. Now with no Big Baby Miller, I'm pretty sure he's not coming to the U.S. But we'll get out to the sponsors and then I will call us. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. 
These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at El Camino Electrical Services.com. Mastermind status. We're going to Jose, uh, excuse me, Joseph in Texas. Look, you know, I want to say it's it's crazy this copyright infringement shit, right? It's like the first time it was like, oh, Josh Kelly, such a great prospect. Oh my God, he's fighting Carlos Molina. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's let's do a film study on his fight. Boom, you get popped for trying to let your audience know that someone is great. Here we are, you know, same thing with Crawford, and you get popped. I guess film studies are just not something um, the promoters or yeah, the Josh Kelly fight with a film study. Yep, the promoters or the um, why y'all lying? Why y'all lying to the people, man? What you mean? And Josh Kelly was not a film study. A live fight chat. Same shit, right? We're calling the fight. But, okay. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, uh, um, that one was a pay-per-view. So that one was a little go. more That one was a little more understandable. But this one is a Gamboa fight from what? Five years ago? Like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah, man, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. I, I don't know. I just think it's, it's a little thirsty, you know? Uh, especially for a non public link but uh joseph in texas talk to us hey first off Ness, how do i sound i got me a new headset with 95 percent noise canceling do i sound better i'm gonna go ahead and lie and say yes so you don't feel bad ah oh, okay all right well first of all fuck bud crawford uh and, and whoever flagged y'all that's damn the fuck shit. bud uh that yeah mike come on now Come on now. Yeah, uh, and everybody from Nebraska, for that matter. Um, but no, man, you know what? Uh, here's my suggestion. Uh, Ness and Mike, well, Mike knows that I think from yesterday we had to talk about it on the FaceTime. Here's what you do. You have uh, you have Shannon Briggs run up on, on AJ and have it all, all over TMZ, and then you put Shannon Briggs in. He's from Brooklyn, you know, right there in New York. And uh, why not? Uh, as long as Shannon's not dirty, that is. But you know. Wait, they, did you just say Shannon? That. But I say Shannon the Cannon Briggs. Oh man! Have Yo, him run up and eat AJ's food. I just, I just never heard. And put it all over TMZ. I hear you, man. And 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 from a marketing standpoint, it might do the job. But I just never heard of a, a top champion taking that that deep of yeah. a plunge that's like a very you know that's a deep dive you know what i'm saying that's yeah. like a deep dive that's what i'm saying you gotta rankings. you gotta do some wwe shit and and have him try to set up the same thing he did to klitschko you know go run up eat his food do something crazy to get the attention because that's the only way you can sell that kind of fight but it would cut, it. New York cut, it. And, uh, cut it cut it hey man i hear you man i hear you let's see if they listen and eddie's always listening and we know AJ got the, the show playing in the gym. Let's go out to Alabama. Baby. I'm on Joshua. Joshua, come and see me, baby. Oh, if he doesn't hide it, no more ducking, no more dodging, no more excuses. Oh, if you hear me, they want you. Boxerwoods.com. Just don't need the big knowledge about the gym. I'm no pro, bro. This man. Can he ask some questions at media days? He gets shit shut down. We just need to leave that man alone. Damn, why y'all saying he, he, he? Man, leave Terrence alone, man. Don't need, we don't need to acknowledge that nigga Mike. I do with it. I agree. Nah, now, he Mike, don't like me anyway, Mike, so just Mike, stop but he acknowledging do, him. But he do, right? Like, not that he personally did it, but they feel that he's such a star that they don't want any other eyeballs going anywhere else but to that fight think about it man how many film studies have we done bro well how many have we done like that though my nigga that's plenty the thing. nah plenty plenty with, with the with yes, the fight on I, the screen absolutely i'll show you something that's still there still there like wait was this on was this on patreon yeah it's on patreon but it's still how on, you on, take on YouTube, them on though. patreon because they're still type. on youtube though uh uh, uh javier I, but it's not. It's not. What's the name? Exactly. They can't see it. Exactly. It's my but argument. They bro, it's can't eighteen see it, but they people still watching have a that thing shit. In place it. to run a like a uh, a uh, man, bro. Uh, stop defending Terrence, bro. Anyways, bro, I'm done yeah. with Terrence, man. Fuck that nigga. Uh, <laughs> Damn. 
That's how I feel, bro. That nigga a hoe, bro. He don't want to answer questions. He don't want to do none of that shit, bro. I, don't, bro. I ain't got time for that bullshit, bro. You chose his life, nigga. What questions he ain't want to answer? I don't know. Bro, about, about, little about media shit he had. Nigga ain't want to answer questions and shit. Nigga, ask me a question. Answer that bitch, nigga. It ain't about Earl right now. Nigga, it's about Terrence. Nigga, y'all want to bring I ain't saying nothing about Earl. I said Terrence, nigga. All right, because the question he didn't want to ask. Fuck Terrence, bro. How about that? Fuck what you talking about. Anyways, uh, AJ, this nigga, bro. I mean, not AJ, but Big Baby. I don't know what's going on with his life, bro. He need to get this shit together, bro. But um, I think Dillian White cool, bro. Like, think about it. Think about it. Think about it, Ness. All right, so we saying money. We talking about money. We talking about, oh, people ain't going to buy it. Bro, it's the best option they got, to be honest, if you want to be real with you. With you. Yeah, but that's you. That's you talking as a hardcore. You know Dillian, and you know he's no, good. But, but you can look, 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 look. All, all it takes is a little promotion, bro. They got this big ass commercial that they did with Tracy Morgan, right? Mm-hmm. All they got to do on the zone is go follow fucking big shit, follow like the playoffs they got right now. Put fucking highlights of the last fight they had. Put highlight, just put highlights. Yeah, put a highlight of AJ getting caught by Dillian White, right? When he got stunned and that nigga had to hold on. And then get the, the knockout of Dillian White and be like the rematch, the grudge match, the the, the UK battle in the US, yeah. and say, I mean, bro, think about it. Well, look, if, if I'll AJ, tell you this: on. he searched more, but you don't know where those searches are uh, originating from, right? Are, are they originating from the UK, which isn't going to help the Zone USA? Let me propose one more thing, though. Even if it don't happen, even I mean, even if they did do it right, I, it might not be that big. But the thing is. That would get everything out the way for Wilder and AJ to have a fight. Cause think about it, Brazil gone. If and went if these if they handle it like they're supposed to handle it, Brazil gone by Wilder, Dylan White gone by AJ. Them two out the way. You just took two heavyweights out the way, right? That had mandatory stake. Dylan had that was on his way to mandatory stake in different states. Cut it, right? cut it, cut it. Yeah, cut but, it. Um, the issue is. There's still other guys. Like even if even if if, if AJ takes on uh, Dillian White next, Akon, don't you see the Usyk still being a possibility? Yeah, Usyk. You have to, people have to remember when we're suggesting Dillian White, it would be a great as a boxing fan, it would be a great fight to see. But there's so many hurdles in place that would make that um, unlikely. Also, just from a promoter's standpoint, if Eddie Hearn was to say, let me put AJ in versus Dylan White, why would he do that in the US when he's got Wembley here? Exactly. Why, that that alone, why, it's going to do over a million UK pay-per-view buys. It's going to generate a, a lot of money on the, on the gate itself. Everyone wants to see the rematch in the UK, and I, I bet boxing fans around the world want to see the rematch too. So why would he do that as a late replacement? Dylan White could, if okay. Dylan White was to lose, for example, he could turn around and say, "I only had six weeks to prepare." There's no need for to go in if the fight couldn't be made back then in January. There's there's no need or no incentive to try and make that fight right now on American soil. He needs an American, or he needs a fighter that's established in America. Akan, does this fight? Mi- uh... Joshua Dillian White two in Madison Square Garden sell less pay per views in the UK than it would if this fight was in Wembley. Hundred percent. Mike, do you agree? Yeah, the time difference. All right. Um, let's go out to stainless boomerang status. Stainless in Detroit. Straight to the point for those with attention deficit. I'm so repetitive, son. So I gotta repeat. Stainless from the streets to the deep. I'm coming with that heat. All you need to know about me. I'm coming with that heat. Yo, TBV, what up? Good morning, Stainless. What up? Ah, oh, you know, man. You know, Mike, why you sound man, so man. defeated? What the, the fuck? Over. Who is, man, you know I'm hot, bro. No, not I, you, I, I do y'all morning wake up. Mike, Mike uh, sounded like... Talking about Mike over there. Good morning, bro. Man, that's that, that's that bud. You know what I'm saying? We on two different buds right now, me and Mike. That's what that is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't don't let that shit defeat you, Mike. You know what I'm saying? And nothing make, let that shit make you go harder, bro. Because that means that they listening that hard that the motherfuckers is getting on Patreon, bro. So, don't... That, don't let that shit discourage you or nothing else. Make that shit, let that shit make you go harder, man. 
like they say, rage against the dying of the light. Akon, what's up to you over in the UK? How you doing, man? How you doing? Hey, I want to uh, thank you for, for your last state because I was leaning like Javier towards the Dillian White fight. I thought that would be a good look, but you did uh, actually give a good argument for, for why I should stay in the UK, um, which gets me to my second option, uh, Ortiz. I mean, the dude's a common opponent. Uh, he would be a common opponent for uh, for uh, Wilder and Joshua. Joshua fought him, and to me personally, it kind of seemed like he's a little on his decline anyway. So it might be an easier fight for uh, Joshua to win. Uh, and and for us in the U.S., we know who Ortiz, Ortiz is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's uh, hardcore and casual fans. Like people people know who Luis who uh, Luis Ortiz is. So. I think it'd be a better fight for them to give than Dillian White. Um, otherwise, you know what I'm saying, we might as well get into that Ariella talk again. <laughs> uh, I mean, the dude did just have a fight, uh, so and, and he looked he looked decent in that. I think he got he had a stoppage in that too, right? You know what I'm saying? Then there's, there's a there's a big enough Mexican fan base in New York cut already. It, cut, it, and, and cut, it, cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Yeah, I was trying to find. Javier uh, yeah, Boomerang. You was trying to find what? Somebody said Luis Ortiz responded. I was trying to find. It. Yeah, you know, I looked for that. Couldn't see anything. You know he going to respond. The issue is, is the offer gonna be legit, bro? Are they? Is Eddie Hearn gonna tell us in an interview on IFL? Well, we offered him six hundred thousand, and imagine he got Deontay Wilder for five hundred and one belt. We're giving him a hundred thousand more and four belt, like. Bro, the, the 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 slickness in the media, we need to weed it out. Like, just because you make the offer better than what Luis Ortiz previously received doesn't mean that it's the legitimate a, a legitimate offer, right? Because at the end of the day, Luis Ortiz's value has gone up since then. Javier, uh, all right, bet. Oh, hold on, Javier. Hold on, Javier. What happened, Mike? Manuel Char. Uh, according to the book, he's uh, is a favorite to uh, to end up with the fight. He's a uh, one in thirty three chance. <laughs> Damn, we can bet on who get the fight. Yo, where David they got Price, Rossi at? Price is uh, three to one. White is ten to one. Ortiz ten to one. Shannon Briggs twenty to one. Manuel Char got that fight. Bookies know what they they know. They, they got know. an inside camp, baby. Uh, is it is it is it, is it minus money though for Char? Uh, ten to one is like uh, oh, no, 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 not minus the chart. I don't think one, one in thirty-three. Oh, ten to one. So that means he's it's like a plus a thousand. But not not for char. That's for Dylan White and uh and uh Ortiz. What's char is like a one in thirty-three. I think it's like uh. Oh, so he's minus money. Yeah, something like that. All right, how about you go? All right, bet you was talking about Mo. Uh, we need to get a nigga who in the U.S. and shit. The U.S. boxes, other than Wilder, but it's not known, if you want to be honest. Like, who who you going to put in there? Brian Jennings, bum man? See a bum. Don't nobody know. Don't nobody know. Him. That's a good fight. Oh, shit. That's a perfect opponent for a late replacement. American dude yeah. shared the ring with Vladimir Klitschko. Been on but HBO. But he just got knocked out. Exactly. Exactly. Bro, he is a champion. Brother, Areola was it. not. Listen to me. Areola was not a contender. But right? think about it, Ness. in the top what you said ten. Early. That was a week. That was on a week's notice. Right? Okay. Okay. This is six damn weeks or seven weeks. It bro. is Stop six it. weeks. It is six weeks. But that's six weeks today. We don't know how long it's going to take to actually negotiate. It don't matter if you negotiate. You can train while you negotiate. Ain't nobody tell you. You can't. Train. You can't. Hey, what? You just going to get so ready can't. just in case? Yeah. Nah. Nigga, this, bro, nah. this is for how many belts? I mean, I hear you, play. I Four belts. Kowanaki, who talking about? I got, bigger, I got, I got other plans. Hey, what's going on, big dog? Uh, no, somebody trying to get added. That's all, champ, champ. All right, bro. Kowanaki talking. About I got other plans. What plans you got, nigga? Bro, hold up, hold up. I don't want to hear nothing hold, about no hey, plans. Hey, hey, hey! Everybody got their own path. So, so, so you can respect so Anthony Yard. You, no you can respect Anthony Yard for turning down certain title shots, but you can't respect Kovnaki. This is what I'm saying. I don't even when like dude, Anthony Yard. What are you talking about? It don't matter. I'm talking Yard about in bum-ass. general. Cut it. Cut I'm talking it. about in general. Cut it. I'm talking about in Cut general. It. You got guys like Mike that'll 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 big up an Anthony Yard. 
Meanwhile, he's picking and choosing which title shot he takes. And if Kovnaki doesn't feel he's ready for AJ, just because the opportunity is there, why do it? He doesn't feel he's ready for AJ. Like, I don't get that. Like, what's wrong with that? Like, he he's what? 19 fights? How many fights does he even have? Like, everybody's path is different. Lomachenko was ready after two fights, in his opinion. Kovnaki maybe doesn't. Or... You got to think about it. Maybe they about to give him a headline or something, you know. Maybe he's about to get something we don't know about. Maybe they starting to invest in him, you know. His name's being mentioned a lot. Now, this right here is clout building properties when AJ and his promoter are mentioning you as a possible replacement. How many people you think went and searched Kovnaki now to see who's this guy that AJ might fight? This is This is all, you know profile building but let's go out to troy in baltimore talk to me uh honestly you I, i'm gonna agree with you and say jennings a good late replacement i'd like to see him fight um uh, no Naki, is that how you say his name uh he'd be a great late yeah okay uh, um i don't want to hear about Louis ortiz no more he had his shot he's got to work you know, if he puts him in there, great. Put him in there, too, but I'm sticking here in his name. But I tell you what irritates me because I'm a purist. I don't really give a damn about politics or money or any of that. It's that, you know, Big Billy was just at the press conference talking about Joshua needs to get tested and carrying on, and now he pops dirty, and he puts the uh, fight in jeopardy and all that stuff. So I don't I don't see the foolishness in that way. This, this is your biggest fight ever, and you pop dirty? You should be crossing all your uh, I's, uh, crossing all your T's, dotting all your I's, and just doing everything you need to do so you can get your shot. I think he was, uh, and, uh, and Troy. I it. think he was. He just wasn't doing it the right way. Obviously not. That means he wasn't doing it, man. I mean, it's irritating because, honestly, uh, Nesta, you said, you said as Eddie Hearn setting out contracts to these fighters, Joshua is the champion. Sh shouldn't these fighters be coming after him now, now that he's available to fight? No, Troy, Why think about you? it. Think about it. Huh? You only got seven seconds. I have I, I have thought about it. All right, it. cool. So then I'll answer. You four, three, two, <coughs> three. Two, one. Yeah, have a good day. So uh, this is the reason no, right? Um, Teofimo Lopez, I'll take it strictly away from anything anyone can call me bias about, right? Teofimo Lopez wants and has been wanting Lomachenko. Lomachenko says and has been saying He's not ready. So there you have a, um, you know, a, 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 an example of a contender calling out the champion. Like you want these other heavyweight contenders to call out um, Anthony Joshua. It, it, it's, it's easy to call out. You don't get the fight. You know, Eddie and, and AJ choose. So it's really up to Eddie and AJ to send one of those guys in office. For instance... Just because Kavnaki came out in a article with Khan and Mike saying that he won't or he's not available, he didn't see the offer. Everything is different. And if you're the zone, you send that man an offer because you know he works with Keith Conley. And if you're Eddie, you know who Keith Conley is because you work very close with him with Daniel Jacobs. And what do you know about him? That his fighters aren't really signed to PBC. We don't know. I'm... Speaking hypothetically as far as Adam Kovnaki, but I want to go out on a limb and say he ain't signed a PBC, just like Sergei Dervichenko, just like Daniel Jacobs, and I'm going to assume just like Adam Kovnaki because they're all managed by Keith Conley, the same manager. So now with that little bridge, Eddie could easily go to Conley and say, hey, this is what we can offer him. And Conley can easily say, hey, you know... They're building this guy up for Wilder. You see the tickets he sells in the Barclay. Brooklyn and Manhattan is only a borough away. We could, we could do better than, than Big Baby Miller. You know that we were linked to Big Baby Miller. You know that Big Baby Miller left Showtime out of frustration because Showtime offered him money to fight Adam Kovnaki. He said, we are brothers from another mother. 
It is disrespectful to ask us to fight each other, especially now. That fight will be bigger in Brooklyn down the line. So Adam Kovnaki is absolutely a top contender in the runnings for this fight, but they're going to have to pay because he's equally a big fight for Wilder in Brooklyn. It's just that simple. His fights at Brooklyn, he brings a huge Polish contingency. We're going to keep going out to the callers. Uh, what do we got? We got, we got Noah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that Adam fight going to happen, though. Oh, no. I, I mean, look, again, my whole argument is they got to pay him. You think Adam won't take it if he getting that 6.5? Shh. I definitely don't think you, you, you're off for Adam 6.5. All right. So let's, let's, oh man, this is beautiful. Let's debate that. Akan, you go first. Why in your mind do you believe that Mike believes that Adam Kovnaki and Big Baby Miller aren't on the same level? Um, quick argument. They got the same opponents. Uh, they were meant to fight each other. Uh, they're both from New York City. One literally is factually selling more tickets than Big Baby Miller. We know that. Um, I, I, I don't know. They both fought Gerald Washington. I, I think Kovnaki might have finished them better, or was it Miller? But regardless, this common opponent, how are they not on the same level? They're definitely on the same, they're definitely on the same level, in my opinion, because... And if anything, I'd even put Kovznaki a little bit higher because he's actually a high ticket seller. He's a high ticket seller. He brings more value. You have to take into consideration the value a fighter would bring to a fight. I believe he brings more value. As a late replacement, according to, I believe it was Mike Coppinger, he said there's 3,000 tickets left. If they announce that AJ's fighting Kovznaki, I'm telling you, those 3,000 tickets are going to be sold. It's a sellout. It's an instant sellout because he will bring his own crowd. He's from New York too. So you can't... If, a, if a, none of these other fighters are going to bring the following in New York that he will bring. So if he's going to bring that to the table as a late replacement, he has to be compensated for that. So in my opinion, he will get that exact same money. I believe they'll offer him the exact same money. They'll take that purse away from Miller and they'll give it straight to him because he's actually bringing more to the table or the exact same thing, if not more, in terms of value to the fight. Mike, before you answer the same question, please try to remember it and don't get lost in this next statement. But there are rumors, Akan, that um, Ottawa Wallen will step in. Since he had a no contest, he's promoted by Dimitri Salida. Um, you know, it's like giving Salida the, I don't know, the, 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 the kiss on the cheek, so to speak, right? Like, hey, man. We know this guy fucked up your payday because ultimately the promoter doesn't get paid if Big Baby doesn't get paid. So it's like, we'll give you an opportunity to salvage this. But, Mike, you can answer this after the first question, but would they take Oda with Wallen, bro? Like, that's a huge, you know, who the fuck is that guy? I don't think, I mean, that's just too much of a drop, no? Um. Yeah, I, I mean, I... I, I I'll address that after this this, this right here. But uh, the reason I, I don't think you you, you give um Kornaki six million dollars is I, I just don't think he has a big enough name or 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 he's worth that kind of money. You gotta think Big Baby talked his way in, into this fight by disrespecting uh, um AJ, by disrespecting his mom mama. We all know that Big Baby had a uh, a few with Deontay Wilder about some personal stuff that I won't get into. So Big Baby's name is is, is a little bit more known out there in my opinion than Adam Kornaki, even though Adam does sell tickets. Yeah, in, but in known part. for 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 controversy, yeah, I, I right? I, I didn't I, I didn't cut you off. Um and uh for for, for like I, I know uh that the Adam sells tickets in uh, New York, and he does great things there. But I just don't think uh, if you put Adam Kornacki on the bill, I don't know uh, what the return on that is going to be. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if those same Brits are going to come over to witness that fight. Which they they might would because they, they 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 love AJ. AJ is why they're coming over. You know what I'm saying? So so, I, and with the Oda Wallen thing, I think that uh, Dimitri Salida. I don't know how many fighters he necessarily has on this card. So if, if he has more than just Big Baby on this card, then that 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 tells me that he could possibly throw his heavyweight 
in there because he has more to, to lose than just Big Baby. He has a lot of uh, other fighters that are going to be fighting on that day. And Ola Wild, I mean, I don't think he's ready for him, uh, uh, AJ, at all. Like, not even a little bit. But if you got to try to save money and, and save the card and, and keep and keep your fighters on that card, then you got to do what you got to do. But I wouldn't. I, I just wouldn't sacrifice a young prospect so early. Now, they can throw Odawa Wallen in the mix. Salida can to try and salvage and, and, and you know, recoup some money. Um, but it doesn't mean that AJ and Eddie have to accept, let alone DAZN. They might not approve it. Remember, yeah, there's money. There's money being um, put up by DAZN to compensate uh, Big Baby Miller. So, again, if you're well, going to... Not anymore. <laughs> Absolutely, but now. but but again, if you went that far because you wanted to make a splash, you probably will be willing to go that far right now, you know, under these circ circumstances to continue to make that splash. And I agree with Akan. The tickets that are out there will be sold. The ones that the stub hubs and the ticket masters still have outside of the three thousand, because you know, you know that these agencies buy up tickets. So those will be sold on the resale market at more. Um, we got Noah, Callie, talk to me. Going once. You on mute, Noah? Unmute, homie. Noah was asleep, too. Is Callie, man. He probably passed out real quick. Only 7 a.m. over there. Um, let's get this thing started on the right foot, then. BoxingVoice.com. It's money to see Working that day, Ballin' like switch. switch. Diamonds wet like a fish. Pull, pull up with them sticks. Come fuck with the clay. We, we fucked on your bitch. She suckin' the dick. She did it out. I'm whipping the work. Page money to done. What's going on, homie? No, it's your boy, Mr. DeZone. It's your boy, Mr. DeZone, H Money, the Boxing Boys 2019 Rookie of the Year. No cap when I speak. No lie when I speak. Let's talk about Anthony Joshua, the cash cow. Welcome to America. This shit like Eddie Murphy coming to America. Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, bro. They inv invading America, bro. It doesn't, it doesn't matter who he fights. It's going to sell out. He's the biggest name in Boston. He is the new Muhammad Ali. He is the heavyweight champ. Shout out to Deontay Wilder, bro. I hope he be at the fight. I hope Deontay Wilder after the zone fight with Ness and Mike, Akon, everybody going to be there together. You know what I mean? I just want to talk about Devin Haney real quick. Devin Haney, he put up a post on Instagram three days ago. He said, he responded to Teofimo Lopez. He said, hey, he said, tell Eddie Hearn we can make it happen now. So what does that mean? He said, tell Eddie. That means Devin Haney with the zone. He went, Eddie, welcome home, Devin Haney. My favorite fighter in the world, the young protege, the young master, the new Floyd Mayweather. Welcome home, Devin Haney. Welcome, brother. I put my boxing career on the line. I said, if he didn't come to the zone, I would stop watching boxing. I would stop calling the show. But guess what? I spoke it into existence. From God, you know, this came from God. And thanks to Boxing Voice for giving me a chance and giving me a voice. You know what I mean? Because it, it's working. It's working. I believe in this. I believe in this process. Thank you, guys. You guys are my brothers. Appreciate that. H money. H money. <laughs> that little shit catchy, right? H money. This shit. Uh, he did it all. Let's go out to CK. Uh, checkmate boxer, talk to me. Checkmate boxing on Skype. Checkmate, checkmate. All right. Let me see here. Checkmate Carlito on me. Skype. Carlito. Carlito. Yeah, what's going on, TBV? What up, what up? Nah, it's disappointed in this, disappointed in Miller. Freaking. But what I was going to say, you know, you was talking about um, Ottoman Wallin, whatever his name is, going to be, might be one of the guys to fight AJ. To me, like, I can't, I don't, I don't see why they would do that. Because if, 
if the zone weren't happy with White, why would they be happy with someone even less less known than White? So if I was Eddie Hearn, and there was the other thing in Eddie Hearn's interview yesterday, he was talking about how um, what's his name, Salita, was mad at him about about something he said about Clarissa Shields. So that I could see yeah, him yeah, maybe yeah, talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there was some heat. Eddie got some heat for saying that the Clarissa Christina Hammer fight didn't feel like a big fight. And, yeah. and it was a shame. But, yo, the numbers came out, and it wasn't, bro. It was only like 380 some thousand, right, Mike? Mike? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, picked it like, uh, it was like 366 concurrent, and it picked it like 400,000. Mm, yeah, so I could see him probably talking to Salita about it. But me, if I was Eddie, if I was Eddie I'd be, why, why, why do this guy? He's, he, he, ain't, he ain't known by nobody. You might as well keep it in-house and do a match with Dillian White. Do you know what I mean, what, what, me do you think? I what do you think? Keys. What do you think? Should he scrap the card and just go back to Wembley? No, nah, they can't do that. Not twice, because they've done that. They've already done that in April. Mm. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Brandon, Cincinnati. What's going on, TVV? I ain't going to waste too much time talking shit about Big Baby, man. I'm just going to say this. Unless you could probably help me out. I forgot which one of those East Coast niggas had a line in the song. It's only so long, fake thugs can't pretend. That's how I feel about Big Baby, man. It's only so long, fake boxing contenders can't uh, pretend, man. He didn't deserve the spot he was in anyway. The only reason why he's there because he could talk shit and he's from New York. So good riddance to him. Um, if I'm Kalnaki, I think, I mean, if they could get a genie in a fucking bottle and get the top guy that. I think it do the best, and it got to be Kalnaki. And if I'm Kalnaki, if they offer me what they was offering Big Baby, which I think he deserves, and it, you want to be technical, he really deserves a little more than Big Baby because he's selling out arenas, and Big Baby can't even sell out fucking casino bathrooms or wherever the fuck he was fighting at where he had around that. So he actually deserves a little more than Big Baby. But if they offer him that six and a half or more, he got to take that shit, man. I mean, you got six weeks to and if you lose, don't be afraid, like man, we say, don't be afraid to let your old go. Let it be a learning experience. He's good enough to where he can rebuild his career back up and take a shot. And if he fails, shit, build back up and then go for water and go for another title shot. I don't see why he want to take it. You can't let opportunities like this pass because whatever they got planned for him, it ain't close to what he can make with this fight. Or it ain't going to be for no belt. I don't give a fuck if he headlining his own show or not. He ain't going to get no in the multiple millions cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, Dominic Seattle, good morning. What's good, what's good? Hey, yo, uh, y'all need to stop talking about Adam Nawanaki wanting, should be fighting Anthony Josh. Adam Nawanaki should be fighting Daniel Dubois. I think that'll be a perfect fight. Um, I really think Luis Ortiz needs to fight Anthony Joshua. There's no other big name in America. Uh, you can get, um, what's his name, the dude who lost Luis Ortiz, the, the vegan, but that would be pointless. And um, it would be, be dope if motherfucking Deontay Wilder drops Dominic Brazil and just goes for it, but that, it don't work like that, so... But that's my call with Luis Ortiz needs to fight Anthony Joshua. There's no other person. Anybody else says anything else, you fucking lying. You fucking dumb as fuck. That's my call. All right. Um, yo, the issue is when when was Luis Ortiz's last fight? Is he ready? And 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 should he take six weeks for the toughest fight of his life, right? Like obviously everyone that listens to this show thinks AJ is the better heavyweight. Like, that's what we see in our comment section. So now you're asking Luis Ortiz to take a fight on six weeks short notice um, versus the perceived better heavyweight. Yeah, you're on mute, Mike. Yep, yep. If you want to talk to me, you got to do what you got to do, bro. Like, shit, sometimes the shit come when it come. Mm. Uh, in, in the words of the other, other great T.I., I stay ready, so I ain't got to get ready. I went to sleep with my shoes on. You know what I'm talking about? I just don't know. A guy like Luis Ortiz, he seems like, you know, look, me and him have the same type of body, right? Let's be real. I mean, obviously, he's a little more um, in better shape. Yeah, I would disrespect uh, Ortiz like that, but okay. Man, you crazy as hell, bro. I'm I'm, I'm not as fat as him. Fuck you talking about. I'm already losing weight. 
Hell okay, yeah. Right, oh, man. so so wait a minute. So right, Ortiz man. got a, a, a in shape body? Builder, I'm, 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 builder, I'm yeah. not, but neither is he, right? You own that motherfucking big baby shit, huh? Oh, so is he what's going on? So is he so is he is he uh AJ, you think Lewis? I mean, come on, I'm, I ain't even gonna I'm talk to you. A con goes AJ. to the. I'm not talking no more. A con goes to the gym every day. He don't just hit the bag. A con, don't you think Lewis Ortiz got a dad body? He does. All right. Does. I mean, he got nice he's shoulders. Got, he's got good shoulders, but he hasn't. He's not someone that you can tell works out regularly, mate. I don't know what. I don't know over his training. Yeah, bro. I'm- I don't know whether his training is. He might still be working out, but there's no way he's in the best shape possible like he's not he's, def- he's definitely got a dad body <laughs> you see the chat rmv <laughs> yo that pre-pro crazy boomerang status stainless what up yo yo i still agree that ortiz is the better flight uh but that ain't what i've been wearing back then for i kind of miss having uh uh matt the hipster here for that point uh on the big baby Miller, man, I'm I'm super disappointed in this cat. You know what I'm saying for for failing for not just a banned substance, but one that you got to go to the black market to get. Like we we so much better than that. And I I know boxing is the dangerous sport. You know what I'm saying. I appreciate every athlete that that risks their life every time they go in that ring. But if you can't be all natural about that shit, then you bullshit. Like smoke, I. I just don't get that shit. I'm, I'm so tired of these these boxers who who claiming that they the best and they got to go through all this shit just to get there. Like, I'd rather see him fight a no name fighter than fight somebody that got to use a banned substance or use use something else to get get an edge. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just tired of the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's you know what I'm saying. And you know what I'm saying. Even bigger. Let me give shout outs to Anthony Joshua for not. You know what I'm saying? Really just going in on him like that and, and st- keeping his nose to the grind and trying to find somebody else to fill that slot. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, an apology from, from the U.S. for having a, you know what I'm saying, somebody who claimed they're a champion being out there on some bullshit. As I always say, please make sure that you push the thumbs up and share this in every episode of the Blocks and Voice podcast. I got to get ready for work, fellas. TBZ for life. Stainless, you already know. You know, I am disappointed, man, uh, especially since he tried to insinuate that AJ was on something. It's like, come on, fam. Like, you put the you put the media and the attention on PDs at that press conference. So now to pop for something is like, fuck, bro. This is it's, it's, it's definitely difficult to defend. Um, let's go out to California, rocking with us early in the morning. <laughs> Beach in the house. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, man, I just realized I need me a, a H Money wake up wing tone like my alarm in the morning. I want it to be like, hey, good morning, homie. It's Mr. DeZone. Hey, you need to get up and go to work, homeboy. Hey, hey, it's Mr. DeZone. I, I think that would be great. That's that boy calling right there. He needs to be an alarm clock. But um, <laughs> let me say this, man. As far as uh, Clarissa Shields go, I think the gauge can't be what men do as far as ratings because a woman's boxer is kind of new to the audience. So it's, it's kind of shitty, and it's I think they're doing it purposely to, to piss on the event, to piss on her accomplishment. I think they're doing that purposely because there has to be re as far as what we gauge a success for women. Uh and I'll leave by asking y'all, do y'all know what the uh, the PED that Gerald Miller used, what's what's the benefits from it? Isn't it Enderol or something like that? Yeah, y'all know yeah. the benefits? Yeah, I mean, shit, the benefits sound good, but this is what I don't get, bro. The side effects, the negative studies on it all indicate, like, dog, don't take this. There's other shit on the market that's not on the black market that does the same shit that still might be on the banned substance list let's get it straight but doesn't give cancerous properties like the fucking test rats that they're using this shit on or were because it got discontinued on top of that so i don't know man i think it's like i said you know someone passed this down and and it's like i'm telling you um and i and i've said on the show like if mike 
tells me, yo, bruh, I'm taking this shit and it's rocking. I'm like, what? Really? Really? And he's like, yeah, I'm getting gains. Look. And I'm like, oh, shit. I fuck am I going to do Google research for? But I'm also not a fighter being tested by Vada or Usada. And in this case, Vada. So it's like, why, um, you know, why do that and put yourself in that? In that in that situation, especially with something that's giving out cancerous properties, there was never gotta, any there was never any human testing on it, Mike. Like they only tested this shit on rats. That right I mean, there, like I'm saying, like you, and this is why I say Big Baby didn't know what he was taking. He he fucks with a lot of bodybuilders. You see that on his stories. Somebody was just like, "Bruh, this should have this should have you you know you you'll lean out with this because it, it it helps you burn fat." Helps you build muscle, gives you muscle endurance, all that good shit. Look, a quick Google search though will show you that this, this uh, what's it called? GW. Let me get the right uh terminology here. What is it? GW fifteen sixteen, bro. That, you know, that shit is banned. Um, not banned. Excuse me. That shit is discontinued and it's been discontinued for some time. Um. Yeah, man. He, he, he was. Man, look here, man. I'm not about to go here and, and, and say that he could have did something better. What he could have did was not fucking cheat about that. Anyway, moving on. Dylan White has declared that he will be willing to jump in and fight Anthony Joshua on June 1st in New York if Jarrell Miller has ruled out because of his failed drug test. So Dylan White wants that smoke, man. It is easy to make in house. If you want him over. A con, you are missing up these little. Oh, oh. The, why would you read out loud? This dude. My nigga, it just it just popped up on fucking screen. My nigga, I don't know. <laughs> so you go, to do. so you gonna read out loud? Yeah. Like, let me just Bruh, tell it the world. Up the this. whole screen, like I'm thinking, it, it's like a motherfucking urgent request or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, like a uh, one of those uh, Hawaii fake bomb, uh, uh, uh like uh, things that that happened last year. Nah, man, a con just ruining shit over here. We got a super chat though from uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez. Uh, big ups to my nigga Danny Alvarez. Fuck Bud, Mike. You better get down or or lay down. Yeah, all right. Man, maybe call Danny again, nigga. Next question. <laughs> I'm on my shit today, back dog. Y'all talking shit. Yo, you about, we got a super about, chat what? from what uh, we got a super chat from Donald Banks. Uh, he says. Eddie should give Ness 2.5 to take the fight. Ness can't turn down that. Uh, laugh out loud. I'm just messing with you, Ness. You my boy. Uh, super chat from Donald. That shit look, you see how that shit look, Mike? You watching YouTube, Mike? You see what how that shit do? look? You see how that shit look? Shout out to Donald for the super chat. Love. We going out to uh, the Nolia. To the one and only. And now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you a young fella, and he comes from the Magnolia. Hey, Donald got be one be one like those younger guy because he got that shit in his hair. Nah, Donald like forty. He forty. Check this out. Clan, who the fuck, man? Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Y'all not about to jack my motherfucking call it, did you hear me? That's Mike, man. I was man. saying, but I'm talking. First, first, first I'm going to talk the high sales gross. Then I'm going to get with a kind, you hear me? Check this out, bro. You been, you been, you been like chilly like a motherfucker from, from the, for this nigga, dog. For the past, like, three months. You dig? This dude ain't never fought nobody. To put him on the level to be for us to be picking him to beat no Joshua, dog. Like Ooh. the bit, like the best dude on this dude resume was Baghdad, man. Who? And you and you pile a ticket for this cat. This dude, three hundred pounds. I'll be baby. fighting. He throwing the same amount of punches as Errol Spence threw in his last fight against Mikey, dog. At three hundred plus pounds. Why they call this shit two years ago, Ness? You remember that shit, Ness? Dog, he called this shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? He and this bitch taking some G fly, some G classified shit. You know what I'm saying? For the biggest fight of his life. You hear me? And y'all talking about and see, I want to say Ortiz. This the biggest fight of Ortiz's life. He already had the biggest fight of his life already. He done been to the mountaintop. 
he done fought the monster already, you know what I'm saying? And Akan, Akan will never understand that shit because he ain't from the roads, you understand? You heard me? He went to the university, man. He, went, he ain't from the roads, you understand me? This man have been to the mountaintop, he ain't scared of no chapter. Oh, she's going to take this fight six weeks notice. Cut it. 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 I know. I know. I was trolling. Okay. I know. Uh, Rock, talk to me. 90 seconds. Yo, yo, yo. Shout out to TBV. Good morning. Uh, Ness, I'm like you, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed, bro, because you did all that talking about you know, Juice and Joshua and, and all this other talk, and you got popped for PEDs, eating all them damn cheeseburgers. You probably got popped with the same meat that Canelo got popped with in Mexico. It's all crazy. Like, I was super excited for this fight. I got all my dogs. Seconds. You know, come over. We was going to throw a whole fight party, and they got popped for PEDs, man. Like, you blew a shot. You did all that banging on. All the talking, you sold the fight and the press conference and all of that just to blow the fight last minute. As far as the replacement, man, I, I honestly don't know. I don't think anybody's going to be comparable to, to to Big Baby. I mean, I like the Brian, the, the Brian uh, Jennings idea, but I don't know, dog. I say, F it. Throw a bunch of money at Klitschko. Bring him back. I don't know. Just do whatever you got to do to to sell the fight. I would still like for it to be in New York. I still would like AJ to make his uh, American debut. But if they switch it and go over to Wembley or whatever, it makes some magical happen where they can make the Dillian White fight elsewhere and make the money. Ten for the day. But I'm hugely disappointed in in Big Baby Miller. I was really looking forward to this uh, to the style clash to this fight. So um, shout out to you guys in the morning doing early work, and shout out to Crawford too. Uh, He's a he's a bird. He could fight, but he's a bird. Shout cut, it, cut, it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Big bird around his motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Ah, big bird to you. He, he your big homie. <laughs> I mean, he's five a pound. You know what I'm saying? He, he your he, big he, homie. He, that, yo, that that's Mike. Want to talk about all the time. That's niggas call him to the show talk, to talk about Crawford on an AJ subject. Got to be doing something right. Mm, I hear that. I hear that, champion. I hear that. Um, so we got a uh. Super chat from uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez, right? And uh, what's he say there, Mike? Uh, I, re- I read it. You, 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 you mean like read it again? Give him some more time? Oh, oh, oh. This, That's oh. why I said shout out Danny uh, Alvarez. Before I, I read it, I guess you didn't get that either. Anyway, I read it again. Big up to my guy, Danny. Uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez says, Fuck Bud. Mike, you better get down or lay down. And like I said last time, big ups to my guy Danny. Okay. I still don't get it, but all right. All right. All right. Let's get that out of it. Let's get that super chat out of it for Bud thing. We did that, right, Mike? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey. Let's see. Noah, Callie, good morning. Morning, TBV. Just pop it with it. All right. Hey, check it out. So, um, I got a few things to say. Uh, this weekend we have we had a little fight party, and uh, you know me and my wife we always throw fight parties. But uh, nigga, it was like twenty five women in my house screaming, "Beat that bitch up!" I ain't never seen nothing like it. So um, yeah, for Clarissa that was crazy, like crazy. I didn't even think that women like boxing. So yeah, they they having they having track work. She's moving the movement. Two sauce. Uh, yeah, man. That's your new name. Your new name is now Sauce Gross. That's just how it goes. That's that. That's your new tag. Um, Big Baby, I'm disappointed. Extremely disappointed in Big Baby. Um, he just like Margarito, dog. You know what you put in your body, cause I don't care what nobody say. You know what you put in your body. He just so in my opinion, man, he the same thing as Margarito when he pre beat up Kodo like that with them raps. You a cheater, cause. And you don't got no love from the West no more. Um, what else? What else? What else can I say? Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, that boy needs to fight Ortiz, man. Ortiz will take that fight. Ortiz deserve that fight. Ortiz deserve that payday. You know what I mean? Like, straight up. Like, it ain't no reason. But this is boxing, and this is their job. So, you know, if my boss didn't come in today, I'm not going to do the heavy work. 
So I can understand that, too. Um, yeah, man, that's about it, man. TBV for life, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, I feel you on that, though. That, that, that has a point. It was, it, was, it, was a, it was a nice one. But uh, this is a bit different, though. I mean, look here, man. I don't, I can't really follow AJ on, on who he fights next. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's his fault that Big Baby decided to do something. So whoever it is, I mean, we kind of just got to roll with it. Yeah, man. At this point, we is rolling with the punches. Um, we're going out to a Wally on Skype. Talk to me. TBV, my name is Kehima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, man, them, there's some disappointment shit, man. Disappointing shit. But at the end of the day, big baby, you can't tell me you're, you're a professional boxer. Fucking on the sort of money he's already been on before. So it's not like he can't he can't afford the right team around him and the right people around him. If I'm a boxer at that level, I'm going to be the most paranoid motherfucker on the planet. Because it's not like you've got a pension or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? What you make is what you make. So I don't believe it for a second that he didn't know what he was doing here or any excuse or any bullshit he comes up with. I don't believe that, man. All these Americans are popping. Just like Deontay Wilder's younger brother, man. I see you guys. I see you guys popping. Oh. Excuse oh, me. What did you say about Wilder's brother? Did he not just pop as well? Uh, is, did he? Not, I'm sure or, he did. Or, or, are you doing did he what, positive? or are you doing what typical morons do? Saying shit that you don't have any facts for. So that's not exactly what's going around I, all over the news. I don't know. I don't know. Where are what you, you finding this information? It's every, every, everywhere but in your lap. I think you're tending to ignore it, aren't you? Oh, it's everywhere. So send me a link of a website <laughs> that's credible. That's what, why isn't ESPN reporting it? Cause he, cause why, is it not on, had, why is it not on box rec? Because you guys only had one fight. You, listen, you will never live a happy life because the hatred in your heart. God just doesn't bless oh, people mind. like you, man. Have a good day, though. <laughs> We're going out to Ohio Runs Boxing. See, that's the saddest thing. Like, why wouldn't Michael Coppinger, ESPN, and everyone that's reporting on this adverse finding by VADA report on a quote-unquote adverse finding yeah. On Marcellus Wilder. It's it's just these UK dudes and these uh pro AJ channels. It's it's ridiculous. Show me some facts, man. Just give me a link that I can read from Sky Sports, from ESPN, boxing scene, ring TV. I mean, we're all boxing fans. We know what fucking websites we believe are credible. The disrespect of some of you is ridiculous. I mean, because you could give people the benefit of the doubt. But the hatred in your heart. And that, again, you will never progress with that hatred, my friend. Ohio after runs by... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, saying, go ahead. After I read the Super Chat, <laughs> you can uh, go to Joseph, but go ahead. I was going to say uh, Super Chat from Ohio runs boxing. Um, he says, Big Baby should have never went over Canelo's house for dinner. Shaking my head. <laughs> Yo. Crazy. That was a little crazy. I like that one. Um, Joseph that, That's right Joseph the mastermind That I'm always forgetting Joseph Yo you know Mike's in the same chat That you asked for Boomerang He could help me Remember that man But how are you Oh yeah I just text Mike direct though No it's cool It, it happens brother No hey uh, You know Don't forget Canelo was just in New York So maybe he dropped off Some frozen meat Over at Big Baby's house Or something Ain't no telling Um as far as Kornacki goes, I think he is a good a replacement fight. He also has a common opponent with Anthony Joshua. Didn't he fight Charles Martin? So, you know, there's a little bit of a barometer there. Obviously, he didn't get Charles Martin out of there. And then the Polish people do. You got people from, like, Chicago that will come into New York. So that that's a, that'd be a good sell. But uh, I just want to talk about, I wonder if, A.J. will have the same energy that Deontay Wilder had because Deontay Wilder was like, you know what? I don't care if you pop for Roy's, I'll still fight him because I'm the best and I believe in myself. Uh, obviously, we don't think that'll actually happen, but I want to see if if AJ has that same energy because I truly believe that Deontay Wilder would still fight some of these guys on steroids because he he knows he has that power and uh, and he's he's got a he can take a hell of a shot as we've seen before. Uh, obviously, we've seen AJ go down, so let's see let's see how how uh, AJ carries his energy going forward. Obviously, I don't expect him to fight somebody that's cheating, but I just want to see his energy level. And uh, But, yeah, 
Kanaki makes a good a good replacement for me. I think the Polish community is a is a big. They're like Mexicans. They're gonna support, support, support. So that uh that makes sense to me, man. But that's my call. Joseph, you the man. Uh, we got another super chat. Uh, super chat. <laughs> super chat from Daniel. Ah, Donald. Uh, Banks. He says, laughing my ass off. I don't look old, but I will be 37 in July. So he's not 40. So there you go, uh, Lauren Maserati. Lauren in uh, Seattle. Um, you know that's the possible fight for 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 Donald. So. Let's see if he takes it now. Yeah, we're gonna see what Donald Donald talking about with him here. So, any final thoughts, guys? Big baby man, you let a lot of people down, brother. You let a lot of people down with the choices you made. Uh, hopefully, uh, it comes out that your B sample comes up negative. That's the only uh, silver lining that I could look for right now. But if it doesn't and it comes back, the both samples come back dirty, then I have to go with what, uh, who's doing the, uh, uh, this uh, work? Vada, right? Yes, Vada. Vada, stay catching, motherfucker. But look at, look at, look, look at God. But yeah, man, um, big baby, man, you gotta, you gotta, man, you just gotta be smarter than that, man. If you can't be the guy the, the, the right way, then there's no use to trying to shortcut it. And uh, hard work, dedication, not cheeseburgers, man. It's called something else now. And and blah, blah, I can't even say the shit. But yeah, final thoughts, AJ. I can't be mad at you, man. Whoever you fight, and uh, I just I just hate it for you and and all the people and all the fans that are coming over. That's my biggest takeaway. But yeah, follow me on IG at Gross nineteen eleven or on Twitter at Gross two three one two. Yeah, um, I do agree with that completely. It is a big shame that this has happened. It was actually a fight that people, I think, started to warm to. People started to look forward to. It was crazy because when the three big heavyweights um, fights were kind of announced, this looked like the biggest fight out of the three. It looked like the most interesting one um, alongside, obviously, Wilder in Brazil. So it's a shame that Wilder in Brazil might look like the most exciting fight we're getting this year out of the three heavyweights. It's, it's a big shame that this has essentially happened. Um... I know that obviously there's the Povetkins and others that have popped before and they've come again. But to do this at this point, when you've had your, your biggest payday in front of you, you're getting a percentage of the Sky pay-per-view if it does over a million. Big Baby's got to be smarter. He, I understand that's what you said, the point that you made in terms of if you're friend and it's your buddy and you're in the gym. I'm in the gym sometimes and guys say, oh, do you know what? This this stuff that I'm taking kind of work. you got to know what you're putting in your body, especially if you're a professional. You've got to understand everything that goes into your body, even if he's your friend and he's cut a significant amount of weight quickly and he's your size, but he's looking shredded and ripped. Big Baby said in the press conference he wanted to come in under 300 pounds. So he was currently posting a picture of him being 315. So maybe he's kind of thinking, how am I going to shed this weight this quickly? I need something extra. I don't know what his thought process was, but it is, it is a big shame. Uh, before my final thoughts, I go to another super chat from Jeffrey Rodriguez who says, Danny Alvarez, Michael, I think you need to come to the defense. Yeah, man, I, I thought he was somebody else. <laughs> uh, check out this super chat from Leonard Sterling. He says that Miller is denying the allegations from Serafina, VP of Greg Cohen Promotions. So the same Serafina that Jack the Truth did a um, interview with is uh, saying the big baby is saying that this is not true. Um, I mean, there's obviously a B sample. When you're doing dealing with, um, you know, with uh, Vada and testing, uh, but I'm 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 pretty sure that that B test will be um, the same or should be right. Um, Augustus Berg, Oda Wallen will KO AJ and shake up the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> Man, final thoughts. Uh, someone brought up the fact that Wilder said he would have fought 
someone on PDs. Who who was it that Wilder said he would have fought on PDs? Ortiz. Pavek. Wasn't it Pavekin? Probably both Ortiz. Of nah, it can yeah. it, it couldn't have been Pavekin because he would have he would have fucking fought Pavekin. He didn't fight Pavekin. Nah, it was it was it was Ortiz. It was definitely Ortiz. Ortiz. It was Ortiz. Yes. And eventually he did, right? Ortiz gave a the bogus <laughs> go, No, the same fight. Ortiz gave yeah, a bogus the ex, No, the same fight cuz Ortiz gave a bogus excuse about the um blood pressure and but they accepted fought, it. But, but Wilder fought Bermain 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 in that uh in that um mandatory, mandatory. Yes. mess. Then yes, he fought yes, uh, yes, Ortiz yes. Right, right, right next but he was supposed to fight Ortiz and Bermain was supposed to fight on his undercard. Uh, super chat from B. Paulie, the super chat king says, Ness, actually not a super chat, but still a, a, a chat that I want to bring mention. He says, Ness, the new setup is on point. Hashtag Ness to go. Uh, I hope that you guys are checking it out on YouTube because it is a lot uh, better. Another super chat from Joseph Brown. Um, he says, he ate that Canelo meat. Let the brother live. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I wonder if, 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 if Big Baby can, I don't know, if all of a sudden, right, Vada says, oh, we didn't see that he filed this motion telling us in the press conference day, because that's when Vada starts, the day of the press conference or the day of the fight, of the announcement of the fight. So it's like, oh, we didn't see this file where he let us know he was taking this, and then would AJ say, oh, you know, he, he went through the proper, um, you know, avenues and channels it was just vada that didn't realize and notify us you know i'm still gonna beat this guy it's personal at this point uh because it can't get kavnaki man damn what the hell is gonna happen dylan white <laughs> my man pushing that dylan white thing hard i mean if y'all want a good fight i don't know man you put Cole Nugget in there. And I don't he ain't see ready how yet. that's. I don't see how that uh, is good here, though, Mike. Dylan Nigga, it's a here, <laughs> man. I mean, I ain't on front. I mean, I. But see, I'm a boxing one thing, fan. One bro. thing they ain't they ain't worried about is people viewing in. It's an app. You can view it anytime you want to. Only thing they worry about is that motherfucker being sold the fuck out. With AJ coming over, he could be fighting you, Ness, or fucking a con or me in a wheelchair. That motherfucker is gonna sell out. Yeah, but it's not about tickets. The zone don't care about tickets. They care about tickets for aesthetics, for visual purposes on their telecast. They care about subscriptions. How the fuck exactly. is Dylan White? Oh, so Dylan exactly. White. So Dylan White is gonna make the U.S. public sign nah, up to the not, zone. It's not that though, bro. But if it's like a great fight, then the people will 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 uh, will uh, talk about it more. More people will and will, then uh, sign up to the it. zone. And or or even this. It could possibly do better in other territories, but they have the zone. Mike, again, they don't care about other territories. They're paying AJ big bucks, and they were paying Big Baby Miller extra big bucks to fight in the U.S. to drive U.S. subscriptions. They have their Japanese you thought subscriptions. Big Baby was they the, have was the their Canadian subscriptions. This yeah. is about making a debut for AJ versus an American to build the American. Uh, brand for AJ, and you honestly thought big guy that was, was going to draw in a lot of American subscriptions, right? Brother, he did his job. So no, 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 he no, got, no, no. He got. No, listen no, no, to me. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying yes. I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question. He was the guy that had people come in and just sign up. Be, no, this fight. Miller. No, this fight. Oh, uh, okay. This fight, AJ Who, versus Big Baby Miller. And you, if, if, you, if you put AJ and Dylan White in there and, and promote it right and show the no. bad blood and beef, you can't, you can't promote. You right. can't promote. You That's can't disguise opinion. a UK dude as an American. It don't the whole matter, thing bro. Is, what he's, he is, he's the a whole, listen, fighter that speaks English. The whole English. thing is he's coming to America. You don't okay. come to America to fight a Brit. Like you don't that's, come to America to to, to to fight a Brit. Listen, the. Mike, the slogan is he's going to conquer America. You're gonna conquer America by fighting a fellow Brit that you already but beat. But you're gonna conquer Yo, America I, by fighting. I'm gonna leave fucking, it alone. Uh, I'm gonna leave it alone, Jarell dude. Miller? Dude, dude, I'm gonna leave it alone. Yes. You're conquer America by yes. fighting Jarell Miller. Yes, a brashful, right, big talking, three hundred and twenty right, pound, that's twenty your pound American. Bias. Yes, that's why he got the fight. Michael is so off on this. I'm not gonna call him any foul words. He's just so off that he can't realize. The zone didn't give Dillian the money, my man. 
They chose Big Baby. They telling you who they thought was more valuable. You just in denial. Let me get to Super Chess. There's no need. We don't agree. Let's just move He's on. He's more valuable because oh he was going to be the fighter. But if you if you <laughs> Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. We don't agree. No, we don't agree. Up, but but one thing in terms of AJ, it does nothing for AJ. Not if he fights Miller. If he fights White, sorry, in in New York, it doesn't actually do anything for him. He has to fight someone that is actually based in America. The oh, all the promotional yeah, money right. that they've put. Yes, he has. Wait, no, Mike. All the promo, all the money that the zone have put into putting how many motherfuckers know Big York. Baby in America. In New York, y'all niggas act like Big Baby come walk down the goddamn street and he just fucking yeah, hey, Big Baby. Get your okay, 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 Mike, Mike. Nobody so fuck about Big that, Baby. Mike, using that knowledge, and now he knows, just pop. Knows, niggas really knows, don't give a fuck about white. Big Baby. Okay, so who knows white then in New York? No, that's it's right. Late, if they don't, if they don't know an American is born there, yeah, but if they don't know Big Baby, they can be made at this time. Ah, you sound crazy, bro. Or free. Those are the two guys. I want to know. I agree with you. I want to know when they're going to start making a hashtag for Mike and his bias, man. When? When are y'all going to make a hashtag for Mike and his bias? You guys say I'm up wild as ass and I fucking all of his balls. What the fuck does Mike do with the fighters that he loves? I mean, this guy's literally campaigning that Dillian White is more popular in America than Big Baby. <laughs> Who said that, Ness? <laughs> uh, we got a super chat from Jemmy J. Says, I think, skirt, skirt. <laughs> and we got another one from NO. Uh, he says, If the fight still happens, I got big baby. Damn. On them, on them, on them things. Oh, nigga. The motherfucker look like the damn Hulk now. Uh, man, that is funny. That is funny. This is funny. Mike, you really go hard for your peoples, man. Going hard. I'm going hard for a good fight. You going you hard. You've been going hard for Dillian okay. White for some time now. Time you know, I, I, I love him. it though. I love it. AJ don't want to fight him Ooh, for a reason. He ducking. <laughs> this guy. How you ducking somebody you beat already, man? <laughs> Yo, Mike is crazy today. You know what you mean? All right, that's cool. Make sure, man, look here, man. If you want to make a, 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 a bed nest next time, Dillian White and AJ fight, I will gladly take it. Bruh, so would I. <laughs> I'll gladly take it too. You're crazy. Oh, crazy, crazy. Let me double check the super chats here. Um, I do my homework, man. I do my homework. You do your homework? Yes, sir. And to bed. I'm sorry, you guys. Bed show today. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I did have some, some stuff for you guys what? tomorrow. What you mean uh, you don't know how we're going to do it? You busy? There's a car over in Russia. Uh, I mean, what's up? Is it going to be live? My man, is you live right now, champ? We on a backup channel. Ah, okay. You wildin'. Let me uh go through these. I just want to double check. Yeah, we said that and that. Uh, we did Ohio Runs Boxing. Danny Alvarez, Joseph Brown, we did. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we got through all the super chats. Uh, So, final thoughts, man. Like I said, man, uh, sucks. I hope that they can salvage this event somehow and AJ can still have his homecoming uh, or, or coming to America, you know. Hope he can still make the splash because we you need him to make... motherfucking right, B. Paulie. I show the fuck wood and I keep running down at that fucking one-way street until I hit a motherfucking... Uh, a so that, um, you know, it can build the, the, the Wilder fight. Like, fighting Dillian White here doesn't build the Wilder fight, in my opinion. So I hope they salvage this event and, uh, you know get him a good outcome and we lead uh, a step closer to that wilder fight or that a that aj fury fight yeah you people in the chat i can get on and go the right way because i'm a stubborn ass nigga sorry Ness. so fucking but yeah uh, peace oh my god you lucky i couldn't go off on you motherfuckers mm, mike what you mad about now man bye man go to go go train uh, these man. people go train. are in the chat talking about uh you talking about a bigger fight or whatever Ain't but one person bringing in subscribers to the, the zone by the bolo if AJ fight. Yo, one person. Yo.
Oh, Everybody look at this else, comment. Acting like they, 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 they gonna fight. He's gonna just bring in hella five numbers. Yo, the what if this zone. happens? What if this happens? That'll yeah, be the boxing yeah. god stepping in for sure. Galito says, praying Brazil pops. Prayer hands emoji. So think about it. Yeah, Brazil. If Brazil pops, then Wilder and AJ can fucking uh, shake it gonna, up. I ain't even gonna wish that on, on that man or even comment on that. That's that's immature. Hey, you you not wishing anything. You are on your telecast and you're you're, you're responding to your audience, Mike. But whatever, man. We've been blamed for worse shit before. Uh, I am your host, Nestor Gets. Find me on Instagram and Twitter at Nestor Peace.